This is a basic manual battery charger. It's good for most automotive applications, whether it's a 6 volt or a 12 volt. It is a dual rate charger. That means it has a 6 amp medium charge and a 2 amp slow charge or trickle charge function. And right here is a little switch that you use to put it into the function that you want. 6 amp, 6 volt, or 12 volt, 6 amp. This is a flooded 12 volt battery, and I just want to trickle charge it. So I'm going to move it into the 12 volt, 2 amp position. Now, connecting a battery charger is very important. You really need to follow these basic safety procedures. One, safety glasses, in case there's any sparks. Next, you want to open up the positive battery terminal. And the first one you connect is the red positive lead from the battery charger to the positive battery post, just like so. Now, this is the negative one. Don't connect it to the negative battery terminal. Many people have a tendency to do that. If there's a spark, that could be very dangerous. What we want to do is make this last connection away from the battery, and I'm going to put it way back here on this bolt that's connected to the, to the body, and that'll give us a, a nice ground connection. Now that we're all connected up and the terminals are on there nice and snug, we can plug in the battery charger. Now we can monitor the charge rate of the slow charger, the trickle charge. But if you find that it needs more of a charge, we can flip it over to the 6 amp rate and we can monitor that. You have to keep an eye on this now, remember, because this is a manual charger. And when it gets down to 100% or fully charged, then you have to disconnect the, uh, the battery and stop the charge. Now here is a fully automatic battery charger and it even has an engine start function. Because there are different types of battery technologies, there's a switch here for maintenance-free type deep cycle batteries or conventional flooded batteries such as we have in this vehicle. So we'll move the switch to the conventional battery position. And now I'll set the selector switch into the type of charge that I want. I have either a 2 amp trickle charge rate, a 12 amp regular charge rate, and it even has a 75 amp start rate. And that's to you know, jump start or boost start the vehicle. Now I'm going to use, just use the 12 amp rate right here because I just want to charge the battery. So we'll plug it in. Now if you want to, you can monitor the charge rate. It starts here with the power on light coming on. And as the battery is charged, the needle will move down the scale until it's fully charged and the green light will come on. Now remember, this is a fully automatic battery charger, so you don't really have to monitor it and you don't have to unplug it when the charge is done. Uh, actually, it becomes a maintainer at that point and it will keep the battery at a state of fully charged, always ready to go. Here is a fully automatic battery charger that's microprocessor controlled. And this will do all batteries, all sizes, all shapes, 6 volt, 12 volts. It's also got a boost start capability and a maintainer. So to set this one up, first we'll plug it in. And then we set the uh, battery percentage, the battery voltage, the alternator, whatever we want to watch. In this particular case, let's set it to watch the battery percentage. And we can see that it's only 45% charged. Next will be the battery type, either a 12 volt standard or a AGM, which is your absorbed glass mat, you know, Optima type batteries, the kind of battery that's in a Prius as an example. A gel cell or a six volt system. Well, this is a standard 12 volt battery. And finally, it is uh, a choice here, a small battery, medium to large, or the engine start position. Well, we're going to set it to the medium to large battery. And then after we push the last button, the charging process begins. The unit turns on, and we can actually monitor the charge status. We see here it's connected, here it's charging, and this light here will come on when it's fully charged. Remember, this is an automatic charger, and once the battery is fully charged, it will go into a maintainer status and keep it at peak efficiency. Here's a great heavy-duty manual charger with features that should appeal to the do-it-yourselfer, the shop owner, and even for use down on the farm. It is a maintainer, it is a charger, and it's also got fast start capability. It's got an on and off switch, and so we have to turn the switch to the function that we want. Here is a 6-volt battery switch for a 40 amp charging and 100 amp start capacity. Also a 12 volt maintainer position. Here's a 12 volt 10 amp charge position. A 12 volt 40 amp charge position for a faster charge. And here's a 12 volt 200 amp engine start position. Well, I'm going to put it into the 12 volt 10 amp position because I'm going to charge this automotive battery and I'll plug it in. Now we're in the off position, so I can either put it in the hold position and that'll turn the charger on and we can monitor the charging status right here or we can put it into a time charge position. Notice we have a timer from 15 minutes all the way up to 135 minutes. 
and we'll set it for about one hour for 60 minutes as we monitor the charge rate. Remember, this is a manual charger and you need to turn this off or make sure it's turned off at the end of the charging cycle.